At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turned back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Is this really happening? I can't be too sure But one day I'll be yours again Welcome back to the channel and uh, as uh, described in the last video um, the amount of rain that we've had lately it's just made these fields really boggy and saturated um, I've got some arable to go up but it's literally like they've had tractors getting stuck on there because it's so soft so we're back out doing another 10 hole challenge and we'll see whether we can beat that one we did last week which was the uh, little Indian lead Indian figure that I found on the first hole and then uh, towards the end, I had that uh, William the Third Silver Love token. Um, it's also better for me because it means I don't chew up the whole of the field by digging countless targets. I can move from field to field, do 10 holes, and then go into the next one. So anyway, we've got our first target down here. So let's go down and see what we got. Right, what we've got here is an 11-12, three bars down. A little bit of a grunt after the pinpoint's been taken off. It's so saturated here that as I was walking down here and standing in some parts, the water was just squirting up from underneath you. All right, we're in the plug. First target looks like a little bit of lead. Yeah, a little bit of lead. Not even worth walking over to the camera to show you. That's the first one out of the way. We'll move on and we'll see you at hole number two. All right, hole number two is a 14 15. But next weekend I'm on a group dig as long as the weather holds off back out with the uh, Shrewsbury and Shrewsbury and Shropshire with Dudley Metal Detecting Club a little area called Ludlow or somewhere near it so it's about half an hour drive for me what's that With a bit of lead, I think. Yeah, nothing special. It's a little bit of thin lead like that. More lead on this field than I care to enjoy, to be honest, if I remember rightly. But uh, I'm filling this hole. And we'll see you at hole number three. All right, what we got here? 21 22. Three to four bars down. A little bit of a grunt. There. Still in the hole. Uh. 
Definitely out. Round. Is it a button? Or is it a coin? It's flat. I've got a portrait on that, it's just about visible. I think that's a George the Third. Yeah, I think that's a George the Third. I won't bore you with cleaning it up now, but yeah, got a little little coin there. It's George Third, I'll get it cleaned up, put some stills up. Um I'd probably say that's a little farthing or something, I might be wrong. Give it a clean up and never know, it might be silver. But uh, you'll know now. And on that, we'll see you at the next uh, target. Well, we've got a banger here. 22, 22, 23, just below the surface. With that free 23 jumping in there and being close to the surface. I have my hesitations about this one. I reckon it could be a bottle cap or a can. But if you don't dig it, you'll never know. Oh, it's still in there. Oh, hang on, what we got here? Oh, hello. Oh, that's not bad. We've um, got a chunky pot leg. Yeah, that. That's a nice chunky bit of history, that. That looks like a nice clean break off there as well. And uh, that sort of uh, sized pot leg, you'd imagine that the, uh, the pot with itself would be quite uh, quite big. I'll definitely know about it if I swing over that. There you go. Oh, I can't remember what hole this is, but uh, it's number six, I think. Got one here. It's a nice 14. But we are on probably the wettest part of this field. So I'm wondering if I can dig this hole without it filling up with water. Oh, can you hear that scrouching? I just had a thought pop into my head then, but I'll mention it on this video. Wrong type of video. Oh. Slightly off on the pinpoint in. Oh. Not too worried about making a mess out of this one because it's uh, underwater anyway. Oh, the signal's not as crisp now, but uh, we'll see what we got. Got it there. Yeah, all that to uh, dig in. For a bit of shrapnel, a bit of tin plate or something. Yeah, nothing special about that. So we're just filling this uh, dirty hole and uh, we'll move on to the next one. What have we got here? It's a 14, 15. Now, I've only ever had one bit of roaming off here, and that was a little tiny fibula. And that was ringing in a 14. So 
Can we get another bit of Roman? Oh, it's in the plug. Not this time. I would probably say that this is could be part of a first of all it was a part of a bullet casing, but it's hollow on both ends. Um you know, it looks like a maybe a bit of a copper piping or something or other. But uh no I'm filling this hole and we'll see what the next target. Oh we've got a one in the twenties here. 20, jumping up to 24. About four bars down. Grunts when you take the pin pointer off. And prior to the dig, I was bobbing the coil above it and it was giving off a bit of a grunt, but I was intrigued to know what it is. Hence why I'm digging it. Still in the hole. Right, we are out. I've left a right messy hole. And I've been in some messy holes in my life. And that was even before uh, detecting. Ah, we've got a buckle. Um, I don't think there's any proper age to it. I might be wrong, but uh, there we go. Little buckle there. So I think that's hole number eight. I've got two more to do. We'll see you at the next one. All right, we got here a 1314. Three bars down. In the plug. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Little Kinder surprise egg. And I've dropped it. Uh, so a little bit of glint of uh, could have been faint gold, but uh, we got ourselves a uh, little military button. And I think I've had these ones before. The shank's still on there. Um. I think it's got a stand-in lion, uh, which looks like may maybe stars or something around the edge. I'll give you a quick shift here. So we've got that there. Small one. I'll uh, see if I can get anything out and I'll put some stills up. All right, let's finish on a number 10. Number 10 on hole number 10. A little bit squidgy around this area. Oh. Right, we're in the plug. Oh, 
What we got in here? Oh dear. We're finishing on a shitty shotty. Lovely, uh, lovely orange colour cap to it. There you go. Not even a Saxon one or a Roman, that one. Just a plain, boring, shitty shotty. Right, that's your 10 holes done. So there we have it. Another 10 hole challenge done. And to be honest, I actually quite like this uh, method of detecting. It's, uh, it's less on your shoulders. When you're a content creator, it's sort of like, oh, I need to get a video out this week. I need to get, just go out, dig 10 holes and show what it is. You're showing the reality of metal detecting which is also a plus for the hobby. New people coming in, they see all these videos of people that are cracking land and they're digging up like 10 hammers in a day or Roman this, Roman that, and Saxon and gold and all that. And yeah, it's great for, for stuff like that to come up, but for people watching those for the first time thinking, hell, I'm going to get myself a metal detector. And they're always like that. So this is great. I just, I, it's a lot less, off, lot less pressure on me. I just go out, film the first 10 decent signals I've come across. There's no digging in between. It's all live digging. If I come across an iffy signal, I don't really want to dig it. I want to dig it. I'll just go on. Every one that you've found is literally a dug live dig, nothing in between. So anyway, don't forget to check out LP. Uh, there's a link in the description for your detecting needs. You get 10% off most items. Um, yeah, you know, or, or if you're literally coming across it on the internet just put in dk10 um, but if you use the link it automatically deducts 10 percent off any items that are available to you know when you come to the checkout and uh, it also helps the channel out a little bit as well so right we're going to head off uh, as usual thanks for watching much appreciated and uh, until next time take care stay safe and i'll see you again on the next hands right tell that